Hey you guys, so I have my first ever wig from Her Given Hair and this is a very natural um, wig and this wig is pretty much like almost identical to my hair type. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So this is the inside of it. This is the front part and this is the back part. But it does have combs in it, adjustable strap, and the front is lace. Okay. Ooh, very naturalist. Very, very natural looking. All right. So I did co-wash this wig before I put it on, um, as y'all saw in the beginning. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and take some water and spray my hair. And then I'm going to spray it with my favorite leave-in conditioner. Alright, after I spray it, I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it. I didn't make it like too damp, um, just a little bit. And I'm just going to keep plucking it, pulling it out until it gets however big I like it. Okay, so this is my wig after I plucked it out with my fingers. So I literally sat there and I kept going like this, like finger combing it and everything. I think this looks so much better. I kind of did like a side, front side part, I don't know which one to call it, but I can't have like the hair all up in my face covering my whole forehead. It's just uncomfortable to me. But y'all, I love this. This is amazing because, oh my necklace. Because this is like literally the texture of my hair. Um, I'll try to put a picture up somewhere, but my hair is this texture. Um, I did flat iron my hair like a year ago or the year before and the curl pattern did get looser on my natural hair, but without heat, this is the natural curl pattern of my hair before heat damage. But y'all, I like this wig. At first I put it on and I was like, mm, I don't know, but this is actually like cute. And the best part is like, y'all saw when I put the wig on, all my hair was braided in the front. So I have zero hair left out. I kind of just like brushed the baby hair down so you can see like some of my hair coming out if that makes sense but y'all this is bomb like look at it look at my hair <laughs> okay so this is the box that came in um her given hair and this box is so sturdy like this is a really nice box and i like how you can just pull it out so inside you get your wig of course and then you also get um, these combs right here, which I'm not using. I don't even need an elastic band or anything. So I'm just gonna throw that to the side real quick. Okay, so let me tell you about this wig. Um, this wig is a lace closure wig. The texture is coily, 4C, 4A, and that's like what my hair is. It's a natural color and the cap size is a small, which this is a really good fitting wig because sometimes I get wigs and they just don't fit correctly. Um, and it comes with this really cute booklet and it just has like um, about the company and uh, what to do with your hair before you put it on. So co-washing it, all that. Um, I did let it hang dry, um, air dry on my mannequin head after I sprayed the leave-in conditioner. Um, if you want to put an elastic band on, you can. Um, the makeup for the knots, which I really don't need to put any makeup on these knots because you can't see them anyway. But y'all, this wig is bomb. Like, I feel like a natural resta. So I might be wearing this to work tomorrow. The kids are gonna be like, ah, your hair, what happened? You like, you know. But anyway, yeah, this wig is bomb. Um, when I was finger combing it, I did get a little bit of shedding. Like, it was like, out of 100%, 100% nice, it was probably about like 5% shedding. And the only reason that it was shedding was because these are really coily curls. So of course the curls are gonna intertwine with each other. And when you pull it, of course, it's gonna be shedding a little bit. But y'all, this is like, this wig is bomb. I like this wig. Please let me know 
what you think about this wig. Um, I'm also going to do another video with this wig on, but in the next video, I will be doing a twist out, which I try to do twist outs on my hair so many times, but my hair is so fine and it's just not as full. Like, I have a full head of hair, but my strands are not thick. I just really have fine hair. So when I do twist outs, they just look raggedy. So I'm going to do a twist out on this wig and see how that goes. But yes, you guys, I'll leave all the info for this wig below. And let me know if you like it because I feel like this wig is the closest wig to my curl pattern like I ever seen. Like if my hair was this full, it would look like this. I promise you. So um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.